Hey guys, I'm Logan Pote with Lane Real Estate and today I am going to talk about the new build process. Step one would be to find a buyer's agent for your new construction home. Um, it's a common misconception that you don't need a buyer's agent when building a home, um, but a buyer's agent can only help you to your benefit. So we're there to help you um, negotiate terms, um, keep track of pricing, and just advocate on your side. Step two, research the neighborhoods that you want to build in. Um, there's a few different types of neighborhoods. Some neighborhoods have set floor plans and builders that you can use and others you can build totally custom. So depending on what you're wanting is where you'll want to look for a neighborhood. Step three would be to get your financing in place. So you'll want to talk to a lender and see what you can afford. Um, there's different types of loans you can do. Typically either you will carry your construction loan or your builder will carry your loan. Um, but regardless, that will convert into permanent financing at the end of construction. So step four would be choosing the right type of builder. Um, this will go back to what sort of neighborhood you're going to be building in. There's um, builders that do totally custom and then builders that go off specific floor plans. So depending on the neighborhood you choose, that will determine the type of builder you go with. So step five would be to negotiate terms with your builder. Um, typically when you see a price on a home, that is just a builder grade home with standard finishes. So you'll want to talk about upgrades you want to do and the terms with your builder. Step six would be to start the construction process. Um, typically you'll have a down payment or earnest money that you will deposit and then they will start the construction. This is typically broken down into several phases and you're usually required to have an inspection done after each phase. Step seven would be once your construction is completed, you will typically have an inspection done. Um, you'll have an inspector come in and check out the whole home and then you'll have a chance to discuss any repairs that are needed with the builder. Step eight would be closing on your home. Um, once inspections are done and your lender has ordered an appraisal and you've obtained a certificate of occupancy, um, you will close on the home. So you'll have to bring a check for the amount owed, sign all the papers, and the property will be handed over to you.